On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, one. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a story for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of what I'll be speaking on. Now, in this morning's story, we are going to take a trip over there in the United States of America. We are talking about over there in Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania, yeah man. Now a Jamaican national have been convicted under federal kingpin statute for orchestrating a large scale nationwide cocaine trafficking ring. Yeah man. Now on your screen is the Jamaican national said to be 41 years old, Rococo Williams. He was found guilty of six counts, including violating the federal kingpin statute for leading a continuing criminal enterprise, as well as additional narcotics charges, conspiracy charges, and money laundering offense. Now, this brother here, gone, yeah man. U.S. Federal Court sent him home for life. Now, he was convicted on September 8, 2023, following a three-week trial before a senior United States district judge. Now, I could go down in the whole case so I can get a better understanding of what really took place. Now, the evidence at the trial established that Williams managed to supervise and organize more than a dozen individuals in a large-scale drug trafficking enterprise that operated for approximately five years in multiple states. Now, Williams obtained substantial quantities of the white narcotic, and for this vlog, I'll call it the white lady or the Amin's powder. So he got substantial quantities of the Amin's powder from the near southwest border in Phoenix, Arizona and also in other locations in the western states. The trial report went on to say that he then arranged for the white substance, the white lady, to be transported to various cities in the eastern United States to include the city of Charlotte in North Carolina, the city of Atlanta in Georgia, and of course, all around New York City and also in Pittsburgh. Now, as a part of the enterprise, it is said that Williams took steps to hide his involvement in the cross-country transportation of the illicit drug and cash proceedings. And proof at the trial showed that Williams used a series of young women who is often said to be facing difficult financial circumstances to transport his illicit drug through checked luggage on domestic airline flights. The report also stated that these women also transported the proceedings of Williams' narcotic trafficking back to Phoenix via secret compartments in suitcases. Williams controlled members of the organization through threats 
and violence, including threatening to take the life of one young woman and their entire family if she cooperated with law enforcement. It is also stated that he used the Waldong and Tech method to instill fear in some of these females as some of them were also casualties of the Waldong and Tech type of thing. And for those who have been watching on the Spot News Media for a minute would have understood what I mean by the Waldong and Tech meaning that they took from that female their bodies without it being given to them willfully so. The report continued by stating that during the conspiracy, Williams was associated with multiple seizures involving kilogram quantity of the illicit white lady and hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and jewelry. For example, the report stated that a search in 2012 resulted in the seizure of $337,000 in cash concealed in a secret compartment in eight suitcases. And figures quoted are in United States currency. The report later stated that in 2014, Williams was arrested in Arizona and a search of two suitcases in his vehicle uncovered approximately $160,000 in cash. And also in April of 2017, law enforcement found a suitcase in a residence connected to Williams containing 6 kilograms of the illicit white lady and cash amounting to $78,000. $500 and in less than a month later in May of 2017 a search of Williams car and a hotel room revealed approximately $120,000 in cash and valuable jewelry. Now about three months later that's in August of 2017, a search of another hotel room in Williams' name resulted in the seizure of 17 kilograms of the illicit white lady and approximately 192,000 in cash and 150,000 in jewelry. The report went on to state that even whilst Williams was incarcerated, Following the August 2017 seizure, the trial evidence showed that Williams continued to orchestrate shipments of the illicit white lady from Phoenix to the Pittsburgh area, including 5 kilograms of the white lady that he arranged to have been concealed in a BMW sports utility vehicle loaded on a car carrier traveling from Arizona to Pittsburgh. In reaching its verdict, the jury that sat on his case specifically determined that Williams was responsible for trafficking over 150 kilogram of the illicit white lady or more of that illicit drug. Now, for five years, Rococo Williams stayed in the shadows and used a series of young women to move hundreds of keys of the illicit white lady across the country. That statement was made by law enforcement. Now, as it relates to the federal kingpin law, the law provides a mandatory life sentence. And also on September 13, the jury that sat on his case found that approximately 400,000 in cash and 200,000 worth of jewelry 
and also the BMW Sports Utility should be forfeited into the hands of government. Yeah, man. So another Jamaican national found himself foul of the law over there in Uncle Sam. And Uncle Sam threw the book at him and the book knock him out cool yeah man now see back road no time soon but as always you know you don't know how uncle sam go to work they will drill you for your give up the bigger boss because there is always a boss for the boss and if you can give up the boss as the boss who knows the next 10 12, 15 years, we just might see Rococo Williams on a flight being deported back to Jamaica. Yeah, man. So, anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.